to the Spectune Composer tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use this tool to create music from data. Just to give you a quick background, uh, this tool was developed in collaboration with Ryan Vandermeulen, a satellite oceanographer at NASA's Goddard Space Center in Washington, D.C., and also my brother. Ryan hit upon the idea of using music to express the natural harmonies that occur in ocean color data collected by NASA's Earth-facing satellites. In this video, I'll use data from one of our early experiments to demonstrate the capabilities of this tool. This beautiful image is of a huge eddy in the Bering Sea. The line represents a stream of data that we're going to work with, moving from left to right, separated into three color channels, blue, green, and red. I'm going to assume you're a smart, literate person who does not need to have everything explained. And I'm also going to assume that you have some interesting data already loaded into a comma-separated data file. These are easy enough to export from Excel. I'm going to start by importing my data, clicking the Import CSV button, and selecting my file. As you can see, the composer has loaded each column of data into separate tracks. You don't have to do it this way. You can copy and paste manually if that's your thing. The tool provides multiple configuration options to help you shape the sound of your data. At the top, we've got your key, scale, and tempo. I won't subject you to a withering blast of music theory discourse. You don't need to understand all that to get started. We're going to use C major, the happiest key, and use a pentatonic, or five-note, scale. In my track configuration, I'm going to select some instruments, flute for blue, harp for green, and because everybody loves a good bass line, a stand-up bass for red. When I preview this flute track, I can tell immediately that the notes are just too low. Some of these notes are impossible to hit on this instrument in real life, so I'm going to change the octave range to something a little more appropriate for a flute. That's better. When your data is translated by the tool, you can often end up with a lot of repeating notes, which are repetitive, and therefore boring. Changing this setting will give the track some personality. I'm going to adjust the settings for these other instruments to bring them in line with how these instruments should be played. Let's preview the whole song, all tracks together. If you want to record the audio of the song, click the record button and let the song play out. When you click stop, a .webm file or web media file will be created. You can play this file in most browsers, but if you want to convert it to mp3, click the link off to the right there. You can back up your song by clicking save. You can load it by clicking the load button. Okay, so we've created a song and it sounds neat but it doesn't sound great. This is where MIDI files come into play. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. The protocol has been around for decades and it's used by nearly every keyboard, synthesizer, drum machine, or sampler produced in the last 30 years. MIDI files are like sheet music for synth software. You can export individual tracks or the entire song. Once you have that file, you can drop it into any digital audio workstation in this case, I'm using GarageBand, and from there you could fine tune your composition. Some of the features I glossed over in the beginning only apply to MIDI files a velocity, which is how hard the instrument is played, sustain, which tells the instrument to keep playing the current note even when it starts playing the next one, and modulation. Well, let's just say you wanted to add additional columns of data to modify how the instrument was played. You can add a modulation option to your track. You paste the data in, in here and choose what kind of modification you want this data to make. The option called modulation here controls a low frequency oscillator that wobbles the pitch of the instrument. Low values sound like a slow vibrato. High values sound like science fiction. The next one is velocity and it controls how hard the instrument is played. All of these other options should be familiar to digital music producers, and we won't get into them here. By the way, this is all experimental stuff. If it doesn't work for you, let me know, and we can try to improve the product. That's it, really. The Spectune Composer tool is an easy way for you to turn data into digital sheet music. 
we would really love to hear uh, what people come up with. This tool's free, it's ad-free, it's open source, and there are no trackers. Tell your friends, send us your results. We're on Twitter and Instagram, at Spectune.